All right, ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for four three-minute rounds and is brought to you by KP Builders, Inc. And when we begin the action, the official in charge is Ernie Sharif. Introducing first, boxing out of the blue corner. His trunks all black, his weight 155 pounds, and brings a professional record of one victory with three defeats to the ring. From Van Wert, Ohio, Brandon the Headhunter Davis. And his opponent boxing out of the red corner with black and white trunks, weighed in tonight at 154 pounds. He earned a draw in his first ever professional fight and he's from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Mark the Spark Daly. Certainly a warm welcome for Daly, what you would expect from a pro Pittsburgh crowd. You gotta love local guys. Local guys love fighting in front of the crowd, and the crowd loves it when a local guy fights in front of them. It's like he's up there fighting for us, man. That's how I feel, and I, and I fight. Bout is scheduled for four three minute rounds. Bout starts with a glove tap. Now we watch Davis, and what I really like about Davis' is stance, I mean, I don't know how the fight's gonna turn out, but his weight is very, very well distributed. His stance is a little wide, but his weight's in a good place. And he's a southpaw, that's, that's a tougher, a uh, little bit of a tougher fight for Daly to take on, but, but they must be confident in his skills if they're taking him. Daly with the traditional boxing stance. Certainly has the height in this fight. Certainly has the height. Another thing this, uh, this Davis kid does really well is he understands his advantage and he's trying to keep that foot on the outside. If Daly, Davis wants to keep his foot on the outside. Both fighters want to keep their foot on the outside, really, when you get a battle of South Pulver's Orthodox. So it's going to be a, ba a battle of who can line up who for their power shot. Can Daly line him up for the right, or can Davis line him up for the left? Because when you're left-handed, your power hand is your left hand. For those, a uh, little bit of boxing knowledge for you guys to take home, which you, you didn't know. Southpaws are always trying to line you up for the power. Both guys are trying to line up for the power hand. Yeah, and if you're not used to working with southpaws, which uh, I would certainly assume the dailies prepared for this, but if you're not used to it, it's, it's, it's different for you because oh, it's a totally nightmare. different direction. <laughs> All the patterns you put in your head over the years fighting are now reversed. And if you don't get enough experience fighting them, then it's going to be a hard night for you because everything you used to do automatically, now you got to take a second or two to think about, and that second or two, can cost you. Absolutely, and you're constantly going in your opponent's uh, power direction with that. And now we're starting to see some of the weaknesses that Davis brings to the ring. He does not sit down when he comes in. He's his, his both. I watched him throw his left and it looked like both of his feet were a little off the ground. You can't get any power. There's nothing to push off of. Daly, on the other hand, is actually doing really calm. He's doing really well. And every time he punches, his feet are firmly on the ground, if you watch. I'm thinking this might be a feeling out process for Daly, and we might see a lot more in the second round as we start to see it right now. Because now he's found out where his range is. That always take, that takes every fighter a little different amount of time, but now he knows. Nice and there he dropped him with a wonderful left hook. And Davis' eyes, he looks at his thumb, but he gets up, and he got hit within 10 seconds. He might be saved by the bell. Looks He's like not. we're gonna There see he is. Two. He gets to make it out the round. You know, as I look at Davis, some of the guys Davis has fought in his record, uh, his first three fights were all uh, KO losses. So 
I'm thinking this might be more of the same if it's anything like the last portion of round one. And we're looking, at, and, and you guys can't see it on the box record unless you got it right in front of you. We got this guy's record. His first three losses, Davis' losses were by KO. That is different than a TKO because a KO means you did not answer the count. You were down and you did not get up. A TKO is either you got up and the ref waved it off or you were taking shots and the ref waved it off. You maintain consciousness and your ability to control yourself and respond to the call. But this kid, Davis, he has been KO'd three times. At that point, there's got to be some damage. you got to be KO susceptible at this point now. It took him two rounds to get KO'd the first fight. His next two fights, they only took one round. So I think, I think he's got to be a little chinny, as they say. The glass jaw comes in with a little bit of cracks in it. You think Daly's going to come out a little more aggressive this round? The Daly knows his range. He knows he's got him hurt. He should smell blood in the water, and he should go after it like a shark. As he looks like he's going to do. Davis just did the right thing when he was locked up. He tried to he tried to hold him and keep him in until the ref got in. Another smart thing you do after you lose a lot, you know, when you, you learn something, and Davis right now is keeping those feet moving because he knows if he takes another shot, he, he it's got to be in his head about getting knocked out. He fears it. He doesn't want it to happen. And Davis lands a left there. But there's no power behind the left. His feet aren't down. I want him to sit his feet down so he can hurt him. Yeah, Davis is calling him on. I'm not sure why. But a guy hasn't been TKO, so he knows he's going to stand in there and fight. I don't like that idea of lowering your hands, man. You are susceptible to being KO'd. He's certainly susceptible <laughs> for a uh, nice right uppercut, too. You eat a good shot. You are not getting up, my friend, so you need to keep your hands up. I never understand guys that are losing and start showboating. You know, and like you said, Davis is throwing, but he's throwing on flat feet. As Daly continues to push the pressure. You better grab it. Now, oh, wonderful shot. Right underneath the glove and the body, very good shot. Straight right, transferred his weight perfectly. Davis answers the call. Answer, you keep fighting. So he took the mouthpiece out. I mean, a little bit of a savvy, I won't call it. means it's, it's a move, it buys him some time to recover. If he does it again, they'll take a point. They might DQ him, but they'll definitely take a point. And not a crowd is chanting daily because once you get a guy down, man, the crowd wants to see you finish him. The situation we're in now is the closest thing we got to the old day gladiators in Rome. Well, once you had a guy finish, they wanted you to finish him. Thumbs up, thumbs down. There it is. Thumbs down. He hits him with another shot. He takes him down. He certainly smelled blood and went in for it. That right hand is working for Daly. There it is. He's not. He's going to keep him in the fight. Feet tied up a little bit. And we make it to round three. We might. <laughs> you think he's going to retire in the stool? Oh, no. I think he's going to make it out. I think he's going to make it out. He looks like a game competitor. Davis came out, energized up and ready to fight, man. But he is looking gassed in the corner. We got the doctor taking a look at him. Davis on the other hand, Daly on the other hand, looks very calm. He's listening to his corner. That's what you want to see. You want to see a fighter calm in that corner. You want to see him ready and relaxed. You look in, the, you look in uh, Davis' corner, and the fight is stopped. It is waved off in the corner. The fight is over.
Daly wins by TKO. And a correction from earlier, Daly is a student at South Park Boxing, not Con Grab. You hear the crowd going wild. Well deserved win for Daly. And you know, I, I really liked what Davis was doing at first, but he just didn't have it. He didn't come in here with the heart and the conditioning. He looked the part, but he didn't perform. You want to see guys that come in like that, you want to see, you want to see a guy like that, even if his skills aren't good, to have heart. Absolutely. And I think he could have continued the fight. I think he could have been in better shape to go. I do not think that he got beat out the fight. I mean, he was being beat. But when you retire on the stool, man, you got to have a good reason. He was, I think he was looking for a way out. And when, when referee Sharif wouldn't give it to him, he, did, he opened another, he opened the window. He went, Sharif went open the door, so the window opened and he climbed out in the middle of the round. He climbed out, retired on the stool for two rounds. So where does a guy like Brandon Davis go from here? You know, this is his fifth pro fight. He's one and four, he's been knocked out four times. What do you think? Well, if he keeps fighting, if he decides he's gonna do look, there's always a new guy that needs an opponent. There's always, you always wanna test the guy warm his blood up because when you transition from the amateurs to the pros assuming you do it the right way and you don't just come in and decide you want to be pro but when you transition from the amateurs to the pros and it's a little different there is no headgear the gloves are less there's less weight on your hand there's more power on the fist and and davis you know is a great guy to get warmed up to the speed of the pro ranks he comes in there he's anxious or rather, he's active. I mean, he looks anxious, but he comes in there. He looks active. He's going to be good for guys in this region and want, want to get a good look. Absolutely. He's got he's got a good boxer build. He's got the height. He's got the long arms, and, he, and it worked in his advantage. And he, he, and he looks the part. You know, he <laughs> that's the cool thing about the lighter weight classes is that you can be an opponent, but you got to meet a weight. So you don't look like garbage. However, he was unable to come out for the third round. Therefore, your winner by technical knockout, Mark the Spark Daily.